Oh yeah, like counting your blessings, like you realise it'll always be worse and like being able to get that perspective is what helps us grow as people, as individuals, as a group and being able to step outside yourself is a special skill that we all need and if you do get it, it is when you think about counting your blessings, when you think about counting your blessings, you really think about how the things that you have. So think about counting your blessings and that you realize there's so much stuff you have in your life that you can be grateful for. And that when they're stepping back, you really get to see what you do have and what you don't have. Especially when you meet other cultures, go to other places, you see things that you've had or you do have in a different light. And that makes you a richer person because there's so much like the world is a huge place a place that we're never going to see people we're never going to meet we know this but we don't always embrace it and live life to the fullest like especially when you go back to places where before it was fun or places where like you grew up and stuff and you realize that you just don't really fit in anymore and you see like the new life experiences that you had have made you too big to go back into that box that's a great thing but it also kind of maybe shows you the journey that you're on because we all have our individual journeys and sometimes we feel like everybody's on that journey you know like everybody likes this stuff but everybody's doing this thing but then like you step out into the world you're like whoa no one else is but and like not like judging anyone but like looking looking to the side or looking back you can really see something that you're on the right path because it could be, obviously it could be better but it could be much worse and like, like for example that house behind me like you might be thinking like wow you've got a palm tree you're overlooking the city and stuff but does it look like that to them? and how do other people look towards us and this the kind of introspection and like seeing the world in different ways make you realize what you do have and not just what you don't have and like it's so like interesting how different choices can put you in different places and different things can make you different things to other people and like you can see like when you look at other people sometimes you add things onto them because maybe like over here you're seeing wow you've got a palm tree you're overlooking the city and all that kind of stuff but do they feel that way and there's things maybe in your life that are like palm trees to other people and like about counting your blessings and not just seeing what you don't have but what you also may have because there's so many things that you can do no one else can do or there's hundreds or thousands of people who never do it they'll never see it even some of the smallest things that you have and you realize like your life up until this moment has either been the choices of other people or the choices of yourself and like going forward you are going to be the sum of all your choices and some of the choices you've had to make or you have to make because like the future is not guaranteed as well as the present is also not guaranteed and it's like how do we marry these two ideas trying to have security but trying to live our lives and have the kind of freedom that we want for ourselves and for our future and when you really look back 
some things you, you were doing and like that was crazy why would you even do that but we live for it how far you've come and how far you're yet to go like there's so many places you're not going to see and there's so many places you're yet to see and every every place you go adds a bit to you and if it doesn't then there's something wrong and maybe that's not the place you should be And you realize like there's so many blessings that you just take for granted like the ability to see, the ability to walk, the ability to travel, the ability to embrace these kind of things, the ability to have the freedom to enjoy it. And, like just being able to step back and just be like wow. But, like if you look at some of these things, you think that inspired poets, philosophers, writers, artists. And it still inspires us today. Something like this timeless, this widespread all over the world, everyone has been inspired by these same things. And you realize you don't control and you don't own any of this stuff, you know? No one can, and that you're just there, just taking a piece out of it. And even the piece you're having is not the whole piece. Like, when you're traveling, you can only see what you can see at that time, you know? You only meet the people you meet at the time and you're also subject to the weather. You're subject to the forces of nature. And like, you really take that to evaluate yourself who you are, what you are, what you're doing. And that there's like people who say, oh, I've seen everything, I've tried everything. It's impossible to see everything. And if you think about like traveling, we all travel. Wherever you live in this, wherever you've never left your city, wherever you've got to many cities, everyone travels. And that uh, like we live in a place, we live in the world, it's so, there's so much intricate there's so many intricate details so many interesting things that we can like never really be bored look at 
Look at these vertical stairs. Goddamn. Still got more steps to take. I really have to commend the people who made these structures. Um, one, not to get distracted. But also two, for helping us get up this mountainside. Yes, it's very steep, but thank you. That's what we're walking through. Five, I sign five at the beginning. Five K. Five K back. No sweat. Really? It was I a know, zoom. So I zoom. Five <laughs> K back. Let's do it. Yeah. So counting your blessings, like not every blessing is a blessing. Like not every blessing is like really easy to have, and like you're gonna have to work for it. But like part of enjoying stuff with the journey, like being enjoying doing what you're doing and then like trying to slow down so you can actually see what it is like what we just did we just walked like 5k for this like so yes we got that view but we also walked 5k with no handle rail most of the time and concentrate so you don't fall off a cliff but that's that's the way it is you don't get to choose your blessings all the time